Locals in seaside towns across Britain are fed up with outsiders snapping up holiday properties, driving up prices and pricing locals out of the market. In a bid to take back control, some towns are considering introducing draconian new rules to restrict second home ownership. One town that is leading the charge is Twitstable, in Kent. The town council is considering a proposal that would see second homeowners forced to pay. An annual levy of up to £10, zero. The money raised would be used to fund affordable housing and other local services. Other towns are considering similar measures. In Cornwall, for example, some councillors have proposed a ban on second home ownership altogether. The proposals have been met with mixed reactions. Some people support them, arguing that they are necessary to protect local communities and make housing more affordable. Others argue that they are unfair and discriminatory. We are fed up with outsiders coming in and snapping up all the properties, said one Whitstable resident who supports the levy proposal. It's driving up prices and making it impossible for locals to buy a home. This levy a way of making second home owners contribute to the community and help to make housing more affordable for everyone. However, others argue that the proposals are unfair and discriminatory. It's not fair to punish people for owning a second home, said one second home owner in Cornwall. We're not all wealthy landlords. Some of us are just ordinary people who want to spend our holidays in Cornwall. These proposals would make it much harder for us to do that. It remains to be seen whether any of these proposals will be implemented. However, they are a sign of the growing anger among locals in seaside towns across Britain, who are fed up with outsiders snapping up holiday properties. What could the impact be of these new rules? If these new rules are implemented, it could have a significant impact on the seaside tourism industry in Britain. Second home owners are a major source of income for many seaside towns. They spend money on accommodation, food, and activities. If they are forced to pay higher taxes or are banned from owning second homes altogether, it could lead to a decline in tourism revenue. It is also possible that these new rules could lead to a backlash from second homeowners. They could decide to sell their properties and invest their money elsewhere. This could lead to a decline in the number of second homes in seaside towns, which could have a negative impact on the local economy. Only time will tell what the ultimate impact of these new rules will be. However, it is clear that they are a significant development in the debate about second home ownership in Britain.